In terms of princess style, Kate Middleton really knows what works for her, which is probably why we're consistently enamored with the sweeping Jenny Packham gowns, trim dress coats, and airy middies she so often steps out in. We feel no different about the look we spotted the princess in this event. Ass Middleton donned a black lace Dolce & Gabbana dress to the Festival of Remembrance in London, a frock featuring a sheer illusion neckline, lacy sleeves, and a hem that, true to Kate form, fell just above her knee. The look is a signature for the royal, and it's a no-brainer that she would return to this simple, sexy LBD style time and time again. Looking the epitome of glamour, Kate, who was pregnant with Princess Charlotte at the time, wore her glossy brunette locks up in a low chignon, with not one hair out of place. The princess complimented her chic updo with smoky eye makeup and a hint of blush. Her accessories were minimal but dazzling, with the royal mum opting for a black sequin clutch bag, Lola Blue Topaz Hoop Earrings by Kiki McDonough, and of course, her beautiful engagement ring. Middleton has worn other incarnations of the Lacey LBD2, notably in 2014, when they arrived in New York City for their highly anticipated trip. And it should come as no surprise that the ever-stylish princess stunned us sartorially from the very start. Middleton made her NYC debut in a chic eggplant-colored merino maternity coat by Seraphine, paired with black tights, Stuart Weitzman booties, gloves, and a clutch. Princess Kate's opera flight ensemble was only to be outdone by her second outfit of the trip. An elegant, lace little black dress with sheer three-quarter length sleeves by Beulah London that she wore to a dinner hosted by the American friends of the Royal Foundation of the Royal Couple and Prince Harry. And sometimes the princess opts for a sheer sleeve look, sans lace, and makes that pretty incredible, too. We're partial to the belted Peplum Hobbs blouse she wore with a navy Jenny Packham skirt to place to be's well-being in school's awards at the Queen's Gallery in Kensington Palace. For the annual Sports Aid charity dinner in London, the princess stunned in a temperly little black dress. She paired the lace frock with a pair of Jimmy Choo pumps and a bright red clutch, complete with an adorable bow. At the British Embassy in Paris, the princess accessorized the T-length Alexander McQueen dress with a thin black leather belt, chic pearl jewelry, and ankle strap heels. And, as always, her perfectly coiffed waves polished off the look. All eyes were on Kate Middleton as she attended the British Academy Film Awards, where many expected her to join other celebrities in wearing all black as a nod to the Time's Up movement. The Prince and Princess of Wales posed together at the unveiling a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, painted by New Zealand artist Nick Cuthell at a state reception at Government House in Wellington, New Zealand. Kate Middleton's black cocktail dress with shoulder detail reminds me of these Alexander McQueen embellished crepe gown. It comes as no surprise that one of Kate's dresses has gone back on sale. The style icon often sees her outfits selling out, within minutes of being identified in what has been dubbed the Kate Effect, when she and Prince William introduced little Princess Charlotte to the world outside the Lindo wing, she caused a spike in sales of yellow dresses after she wore a cream and yellow bespoke Jenny Packham creation. Online retailer eBay have revealed that in Kate's home country of Britain, there has been a 58% sales increase for yellow floral patterned dresses following her appearance. In Australia, there has been even more of a frenzy with a 208%, as well as a 131% sales increase for nude heels, like the nude Jimmy Choo pumps the Duchess wore.